From the Energy News Center in Washington, D.C., this is the Energy Report with Susan McGinnis. Good afternoon, I'm Susan McGinnis. Here's a quick look at your energy headlines. Hurricane Alex has forced the shut-in of oil and natural gas rigs in the Gulf of Mexico. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management estimates nearly a quarter of the Gulf's oil and more than 9% of gas production has been halted. About 80 rigs have been evacuated. This Category 1 hurricane is projected to stay away from BP's ruptured well. Ed Overton, professor at Louisiana State University, tells Clean Skies News this storm is a mixed bag for the spill. It does help by dispersing more of the oil, but it also causes more damage by pushing more oil onto marshes and shorelines. Well, the biggest source of new oil discoveries worldwide is in deep water fields. IHS CIRA says deep water discoveries are significantly larger than those onshore, and deep water wells now lead new oil production in the U.S. and globally. The consultant says new Gulf of Mexico wells cut U.S. imports 4% last year and says it's not yet clear just how much the BP blowout will change that. Well, BP has been fined $5.2 million by the Interior Department, but this one's not about the Deepwater Horizon. This is for allegedly submitting false reports about energy production on Indian tribal lands in Colorado. Tribal auditors discovered incorrect reports in 2007, reported them to BP, which then promised to make changes. Well, officials say a later check showed that BP continued to falsify report production figures. The EPA gave tentative approval to a new mountaintop remote removal permit in Logan County, West Virginia. This is for Arch Coal subsidiary Colmax Pine Creek Surface Mine. This is for a 760-acre mountaintop removal operation. It was among mining applications getting added scrutiny from EPA under the White House's effort to reduce impacts from Appalachian strip mining. Here's a look at some goings on around the Beltway tomorrow. Sixth National Renewable Energy Summit has its final day at the Crystal Gateway Marriott, where programs will focus on paths forward for a new energy future. At 10 a.m., the House Science and Tech Committee has a hearing in Rayburn on smart grid architecture and standards. And at 11, the Nuclear Information and Resource Service has a teleconference to protest the new federal loan guarantees for nuclear reactors. That's the Energy Report. We'll see you again tomorrow with your latest energy headlines. For any suggestions or comments about our programming on Clean Skies News, email us at contact at cleanskies.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. From all of us here in the Energy News Center, have a great day.